What up, guys? You're watching TOJ. Um, don't forget to go to artbyrico.com, A-R-T-B-Y-R-I-C-C-O.com. That's artbyrico.com. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel, um, Tough Love Dating, or just subscribe to uh, TOJ. Um, I was at, I was at lunch with my, with my my agent, my lawyer, and like one of my like female friends popped up. And just like invited her at the table, and I didn't say nothing. I paid for the food, and you know we all went our separate ways. But one day, like like driving back down St. Charles or whatever, she was like looking at me like like a vampire. Like, the fuck your your problem is you like like about to bite my neck or something. And she was like basically telling me that she admires me and she wants to be strong like me because she can't seem to get her shit straight. And I gave her like you know I read her the riot act like, and that's what happened to me a long time ago. She said, I want to be strong like you, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something, guys. A lot of you, I don't know if you're, you know, if you're white, black, or whatever you are, or you fat, skinny, or you want these video game, video game nerds, but I'm telling you, being strong is not a switch you can just, like, turn on. If you're an athlete, if you're a business owner, if you're a homeowner, either, you know, you run a business, you have to be strong for your family. Because you can't be weak. Certain certain age points at your life, I mean, certain age points in your life, once you hit like like 21 years old, once you hit 30 years old, like you can't lie to yourself no more. At certain ages, you done been through so much so much shit, you got a frame of reference to look back to and say, oh God, don't you know, like like wisdom. Over time, you get smarter. You get um, either if you're sheltered, you become more liberal, and if you and there's one thing I learned about. Like, uh, what's his name? I think uh, Winston Churchill said this, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. He said, if you are a liberal by the time you're 25 years old, that means you have a heart. If you're conservative after 25 years old, that means you got a brain, or something to that effect. Meaning, basically, when you're young, you want to help everybody, you want to save the world, but by the time you're 25 years old and you're and you're conservative. I think I think that's what it is. But if by the time if you're if you're 25 years old and a conservative, then you got a brain. You don't realize you can't help everybody else out. There's going to be some people that don't really want to be saved, and there's going to be a lot of people who just don't really want no help. And no matter how how much you want to help them, they'll either help you or they'll drag you down. So it's one of those situations where I was trying to explain to this girl that I done been through everything. Before I got to become self-employed, I worked at Red Lobster. I worked offshore. I done been to jail before. I done been everything except a fucking doctor and a mermaid. So, you know, I was telling her, I said, you know, you got to understand something. I said, life don't owe you nothing. I hate that people don't want to believe that. You cannot guarantee equal outcomes in life. I'm sorry. All you as a human being can guarantee is how much work you put into your life. But you cannot, I can't guarantee you that if me and you start on the exact same starting line, that, and we put in the exact same effort, that we're going to end up successful. Because what happens is there's so many different variables that I will come across that you might not come across as a woman or vice versa. So I told her, I said, everybody's life is different. And that's why you have a case-by-case -case outcome with certain people who can become rich overnight by winning a lottery or... They have the opportunity to be in a position to know somebody who can give them access to capital. But I'd have been uh, stabbed in the back. And to be stabbed in the back, that requires trust. You got to give somebody your trust and trust that they'll do right. And that puts them in a position to fuck you over. I'd have been cheated on. I'd have been called nigger. I'd have been called everything. So I am nothing more than a sum total of a fucked up life. Which is why I am somebody who can give you my opinion based off of experience so i don't lie about saying well i'm going to pretend i'm pro-black to get pro-black views i'm going to pretend i'm a republican to get re republican views or i'm going to pretend to be a liberal I, I, this is how i am on this video i'm evil i'm mean i'm not nice but i'm a super good person if people on facebook I'm not posting this to my Facebook page. I'm putting this to my Opinion Junkie Facebook page. But my personal Facebook page, I done helped out at least 100 people this year. Either with money or information or I, you know, helped them out under the table some kind of way. But I'm a good motherfucker. I'll give you the clothes off my back. I feel the homeless dude right now waiting on me every morning. I go to McDonald's, get him a biscuit. 
so he ain't got to eat at the garbage can. I, I would never take a picture with me and him together, but I feed this dude every morning on days that I show up to work. I'm a good person. I'm just not a nice person. I have no problem feeling sorry for children and some old women. But young women, I don't feel a motherfucking thing for all young women. Get off your ass and get a job. You got 10 fingers and 10 toes just like me. You got a brain, you got a fucking mouth, and you can stay on Facebook all day long uh, or stay on social media chopping up game and, you know, I guess I'm talking shit on Snapchat. So once you choose to be a certain kind of way, I don't, I can't really feel sorry for you. But if you want to be strong, the only advice I can give you if you are a person that's watching this video and don't know me personally, because a lot of my personal friends watch these videos, I'll say this. Get you a tablet and you write down an uh, essay. Who is, let's say me. I'm, I'm, my name is Rico Rito. Okay, who is Rico Rito? Um, Rico is a 40-year-old man, blah, 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 blah. What does Rico like? What does Rico don't like? Now, this is the hard part. You got to write down what you think people hate about you. Write down what you think people don't like about you. And that's the unfortunate thing. Write down what you won't do. You say, I won't sell out. I won't kiss ass. I won't do this. Am I willing to relocate? Am I willing to trade my, my, my passion and my purpose for a woman? Am I willing to trade my passion and my purpose for a man? What am I willing to give up for love? Does love matter? Um, does money matter? Once you do all those kind of analysis, and mind you, this is something that this is something that you can't do overnight. You got to take your time. Um, that's why I do a lot of thinking when I'm driving. So when I'm driving, it's, it's quiet thoughts. Like the radio is never on. Um, I love talk radio because I can hear different people give different ideas, different viewpoints that's different to mine. I don't listen to Tyreek all day. I don't listen to Jason Black all day. I might do 50 minutes of Rush Limbaugh, maybe 20 minutes of Rush Limbaugh, and then I'm, I'm gone. I might do 20 minutes of Hannity. I might go to uh, uh, Tom Joyner in the morning. I can't stomach Steve Harvey. I might do some Ricky Smiley. I need a little, you know, a little dose of bullshit here and there because you can't be serious all the time. So um, you have to have, have have a masculine frame, an abundance mindset, like my nigga Alpha Male say. So um, I get I do date date coaching, and a lot of people that want me to um, date coach for them. And life coach for them don't really want to follow my advice because I make my life look easy because I live it every day. So I don't, I can't avoid being a strong-headed person because unfortunately I've been through so much shit. It's second nature now. It's like me being an artist. I can write my name in reverse with a brush, like without a mirror, because it's what I do every day. Lifting weights, working out. I mean, I'm like I say, I'm actually a pretty big dude, but um, I have to work out every day i drink a lot of water i do the protein shakes when i can um they're not necessary uh i eat a lot of protein i go to starbucks like everybody else but i'd have to at least work out four days a week only for 30 minutes at a time um every night i get on the internet i read my email answer my emails don't watch no tv i don't have no time to even watch tv i would love to be a regular person if i chose to be a regular person which i'm not you know, and uh, I don't teach Little League. My son don't play no sports anymore. I'm just building an empire. I'm, and I'm on my fucking purpose every day. I can't take a break until I hit a certain amount of money in the bank. And I have a sudden, um, some some flagpoles that I hit. Once I hit those marks, then I'll slow down. So start, start having, you know, girlfriends and all this kind of fun. But right now, I need to have a, a plan B, money to evacuate in case a hurricane happened. I mean, it's a lot of, uh, um... You know what I'm saying? Not variables that go into the equation that say, well, now I'm ready to settle down and, and to do this. But right now, life is too unfair and not, I guess it ain't evened out. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm only strong because I got to be. That's it. I'm not strong because I want to be strong. I'm strong because I got to be. And unfortunately, my, my what I've been through in life turned me into this. So, you know, um, but I've been through turning me into a conservative. I mean, I'm not a, a coon or whatever word you want to call me in the comment section. I mean, I'm just, I still like Tyreek, still like Umar, still like Jason Black. I still like Claude Anderson. I mean, when I look in the mirror, I'm black. I'm just, I'm just a conservative. I think different than everybody else do. And that's basically it. But I, but I, as far as the black thing, yes, I do fight for black issues. And that's basically it. I don't do like the, uh, 
Larry Elders and the Jesse Lee Petersons, you know, who who have a, a certain crowd, they, they got to pander to. My crowd, my viewers, my subscribers are very minimal because I don't really fit a mold where, you know, is a, like a thousand, 48,000, you know, um, conservatives on one channel. I'm not going for that shit. No, you're not going to. I'm doing an X, X, T, a triple X testosterone video today. And another video about something else that's polar opposites of each other. I might even do a crowd hammer video. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a nigga with an opinion, bro. And, I, and all my opinions are, are based on the shit that I done been through. And that's how TOJ became who he is. And that's how I, that's why I'm a strong person. And that's how I got to be strong. And I'm going to continue to be strong until the day I die. And I want you guys to to feed off of this and figure out how, how to be strong for yourself. If you're already strong, fuck it. I salute you. Welcome aboard. To the uh, institution of common sense. Anyway, guys, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm sweating. AC is off, so that's why that's why this better audio. Anyway, man, uh, hit like, share, and subscribe. Share this video with apes, alligators, coons, possums, sunflower seeds, gem blossoms, skips, gangs, scallywags, and hula hoops. I'm out of here.